When you walk into Bowser High School, right in the hallway across from the gymnasium, hangs three jerseys. Legend Rebels at one time. One jersey you'll see up there is Kamisha Hairston. She'd go on to play for Don Staley at Temple. Then she'd go on to be a first round pick in the WNBA. And she's from right here in Toledo. Here is my sit down with Kamisha Hairston in today's No Days Off. Kamisha, when did the love for basketball really start to take over? I think I was in the fifth grade. Fifth. Um, yeah, my best friend introduced me to basketball in the fourth grade, but I wasn't, you know, really good. But by the fifth grade, um, working out over the summer, mm -hmm. I developed a love for the game, um, and I continued to work, and I wanted to be great, so I really put in the work in the fifth grade. Any family members or anyone besides your friend that played basketball, where did the genes come from? My dad is actually a really good basketball player. In okay. my opinion, um, watching him growing up, mm -hmm. I felt like you know he could have been an NBA player. Um, he was a fantastic shooter, mm -hmm. um, and he played against NBA players um, growing up. But my definitely my skills came from my father. I love it. Yeah. Did he play college? How far did no, his career go? <laughs> I don't. He didn't play in high school, but he played a lot of. Um, pick up basketball. Wow. And so he was incredibly skillful, mm -hmm. but just didn't have the opportunity um, growing up like I had. How much did he coach you up then? He was my coach up until high school and even mm -hmm. sitting in the, the stands, he was still um, the coach. You know, he taught me everything that I know wow. about the game. So. Wow. What, what's the biggest thing you think you learned from him looking back? I think my competitiveness um, comes from him. Mm -hmm. um, he is extremely competitive. Um, talks a lot of trash. I'm not a trash talker, but you know, he taught me to go at my opponents. Mm -hmm. um, and I was a pretty good shooter, and so I get that. When did the when did the offers, the college offers, start rolling in? Well, my sophomore year. Okay. You know, I started um, getting a ton of letters, had boxes mm -hmm. full of letters. Um, but my junior year is really when, you know, the big schools came in and you know, offered scholarships. So mm -hmm. summer of my junior year. Yeah, and stemming from a stellar career at Bowser High School, former Rebel, what did you take, what, what, what really did you do in high school that propelled your game to the next level? Um, I think the dedication started there in mm -hmm. high school. So just becoming dedicated to the craft, to my craft, um, really working on it. And if you don't develop that at a young age, you can't translate that into the co collegiate level. It'll be foreign to you. Mm -hmm. um, but just learning how to work hard, even when the pressure isn't on you as much as it is in college. So I took that from high school and uh, applied that, you know, even more to a higher degree in college in mm -hmm. order to be successful. Was there an offer that when you got the letter, you were kind of blown away or you're like, wow, this school just offered me? I think for me at that time was LSU. Huh. Um, when you had, they had a great player like Simone Augustus there. Um, and as tempting and fascinating as it was, I had to stick with um, my Temple House because of their commitment mm -hmm. to me, even during my injury um, phase, they stayed committed to me. And so I had to stay committed to them. Mm -hmm. How hard was it to not only believe in yourself, but get other coaches and programs to believe in you after your injury? Uh, extremely hard. Um, after I tore my ACL, I continued to play. Mm -hmm. um, we had Nike ter tournaments coming up and I committed to playing in them, even while being injured, just to secure, you know, my name and my spot in, you know, moving into college. I wanted everyone to know who I was, and I think I did a pretty good job of that. How do you play on a torn ACL? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. I have no idea. I played with one leg. I had a, um, a knee brace on, mm -hmm. and, you know, I did the best that I could. Um, I, we were playing against Candace Parker, um, and at that time, another great player um, by a, her name was Alexis Hornbuckle. And so I had to, you know, take that challenge and to go up against them to solidify mm -hmm. um, who I am. Uh -huh. And I think I did a good job.